Hey, in this video, we're going to look at six brand new AI tools that are super underrated. We're talking about tools to help you generate new startup ideas, to validate business ideas, to turn YouTube content into tweets, LinkedIn, SEO blogs, AI tool to help you generate new leads, and a new AI tool that's going to generate music for you. So let's dive in. Okay, this tool is called ReadyScan. So if you know Reddit, there's a thing called subreddit, which is basically communities within Reddit. So if you use this tool, all you have to do is just type in any subreddit name, which is a community where you belong or like the community you want to do a business in and as soon as you type the subreddit what this tool is going to do is it's going to go through all the posts from the past week and it's going to generate some trend analysis some entrepreneurial insights and some startup ideas so i'm just going to type in here notion for the notion subreddit for anybody who loves notion or in the notion space this could be useful to figure out which templates you want to build or if you want to build a product on top of notion we get some trends and observations like people here are looking to manage large databases navigating notion features or discovering lesson on tricks to enhance their experience so we're getting ideas on like you know building content around notion perhaps if that's your jam or you can build products on top of it and if you scroll further down it's showing where those insights are coming from so the key posts where that content is coming from some trends which we're seeing on the notion sub page so entrepreneurial insights so this is referring to some startup ideas which the ai think is possible based on what people are looking for on notion subreddit and just a quick summary so if you're trying to build a new business or you are in a space and you want to put some content i feel like it's a good tool just put the subreddit in and see what insights you get it's completely free at least for now so yeah go give it a try so let's say if we can use an ai tool to validate that idea so the tool we're going to use for this is called yazero yazero i'm not sure how to pronounce it correctly there's a free plan for this tool so just sign up for free i have not paid for this tool and once you sign up you're just going to see the screen where you just type in your idea so you have two options here which is a basic validation and an advanced validation it looks like advanced validation is still coming soon so you know like this tool is really new they don't even have all the features yet and for basic validation it's going to take one credit with every new account, you do get a couple of credits, but I feel like right now the product is so new that the credit's actually not changing, so you can basically keep on using it based on what I noticed, of course. And then just type in whatever ideas you think you want to test out. So I'm just going to say an AI bot to negotiate salaries on your behalf. Just a random idea. I mean, it's something useful. I'm bad at negotiating, so hopefully something like this would help. So as soon as you put in your idea, it's going to take about 30 seconds. Let's see what we get. So we get some market analysis. So this is again like, you know, AI doing everything. So of course, don't believe this completely, but just like using critical thinking alongside with these insights just use this as a guide and you're seeing some competitor analysis some market analysis you know what are the key strengths in your idea some points of weaknesses competitor analysis where this could be stronger what some challenges you could foresee and some quick customer analysis along with the score if you have a new idea before you even start building it maybe try this tool it's free as it seems and see if there's something you might want to tweak or change or some insights you gather that's going to help you in your research and build a better product the next tool we're going to look at is called Morena. So it's an AI tool to generate some leads. So again, you can sign up for free. It's a freemium tool like everything else. You get about 100 credits for the free plan. So as soon as you sign up, you're going to see this interface where you just have to explain your ideal customer. So just describe who your ideal customer is. And there's some examples at the bottom. So you know what's the best way to describe your ideal client. Well, let's just type in, we're looking for marketing leaders who want to adopt AI in their digital marketing initiatives. Hit get my leads. In about 30 seconds, we're going to get some results. And it seems like it has a whole bunch of database and our AI query basically was a natural language for it to like put all the filters for the search results. It's basically using AI power to like search and like make sure the search has the right filters and all that stuff. Now, as we can see here, we're getting the functional areas, which is C-level leadership marketing PR, some industry, which seems quite relevant. We're looking at the buyer's intent. It's a pretty good job. And then some like the graphics, so like Salesforce, pipe drive and all that stuff, which makes sense because like the people based on what we said actually would belong to this criteria and then on the right side we're seeing a list of leads so you have the name of the person you have the company the title their location the country and the email is blurred so that's where the credits come in for every contact you want to click to get the contact information you're going to be using up one credit seems fairly generous enough for a free plan for all these like legion tools basically if you are in service business or b2b i think this is worth giving it a shot you can see what leads you get reach out to those leads i'm going to do a separate video on like some ai tools for automating lead outreach and stuff so stay tuned for that one as we can see we're getting about uh, hundreds of leads here so 3,000 in terms of exact demographic that we decided for our customer which is pretty decent not sure about the quality of the leads just yet just because i haven't done any outreach but for free and just like you know in 30 seconds it seems like a fairly decent job for me to at least get some customers so if i'm starting a new b2b business or a service business it's a good first place to start off with all right moving on the next tool is super interesting it's called udio and this tool is like a chat gpt moment for like the music industry i'm pretty sure a lot of artists are going to have a lot of 
backlash for this tool. But basically all you have to do is just type in what kind of music do you want? Select if you want lyrics, do you want to add custom lyrics or just want instrumental and hit create. Okay, for example, I'm going to do a dramatic intro music. Just keep it instrumental for now and hit create. Within a minute or two, it's going to create two pieces of music 30 seconds long from thin air. Let's take a quick lesson to the music it just created. That's pretty good background music. Uh, let's try this one more time, but this one with lyrics perhaps. Okay, I'm just gonna say a heartbreak song about Alex. I'm gonna use the filter pop, so it's a pop song. And let's see what we get. That's cool. Imagine if you're on a dating profile, you can just like add music or like something for a person you match. I don't know, maybe it's gonna help your chances get the number or go on a date or something. So I don't know, give it a shot. But yeah, this was super cool. Once you have your music done, a couple more things you can do. One is remix. You can like, you know, add more things to the prompt. If you just want to like keep working on the prompt, you can change the variance. By variance, it just means how similar or different you want from the existing song. So you can just play with a slider bar or you have an option to extend the music. When you go to the extend option, you can either add an intro before, or you can add add a section after, you can add an outro after, you can change if you wanted to turn into instrumental or lyrical or whatnot. And uh, that's where you can make the song longer from 30 seconds. Cause I think by default, you only get 30 seconds worth of music whenever you create with a new prompt. So you get about like 600 monthly generations, which is like plenty for a free plan. And then of course you can upgrade for probably more pro features and for like creating more music. But uh, yeah, let me know actually what song you end up creating actually. Like, you know, put it on YouTube, put it on Spotify and just like, you know, link it in the comments. Would love to see uh, what song you're creating. Moving on to some content repurposing. We're going to look at two tools that's going to help repurpose YouTube videos. The first one is called YouTube Summarizer. So all you have to do is just paste in the YouTube video link. So I'm going to paste a video of my friend here, Kaya, and she did an incredible video recently on like, you know, how the influencer thing is probably dying. But yeah, so as soon as you do that, this tool is going to turn that YouTube into a blog for SEO. So you know, like you will see those websites that have like a bunch of blogs and there's a YouTube video along side with it. So you can basically just use this tool to turn a video into a blog and add it to your website. So hopefully you can leverage those keywords to get more traffic to your website, but also have the video in there. So whoever the original creator is, is also getting the attribution. But yeah, make sure you just check that you have like the permissions to do so and you have the right attribution. So like the original creator gets the credit, but it's super cool to quickly repurpose that YouTube video content into a blog. I might even do that on my own website, Digital Samaritan, but uh, yeah, you'll probably find out if I do. And if you want more tools, you can just always go to my website, Digital Samaritan co. This is where I curate all the tools that I've been testing every day. I spend like five hours every day literally playing around with these tools. And then that's where like all my repository is. And the next tool is called autopurpose.io. It's kind of similar to the tool we just saw, except instead of repurposing a YouTube video into a blog post, it repurposes a YouTube video into a Twitter and a LinkedIn posts. So we're going to paste the same YouTube video link in this tool. It's going to turn a YouTube video into a Twitter thread here. And it's also going to turn that YouTube video into a LinkedIn post. Again, I'm not sure if I'm happy with the LinkedIn post because it just sounds too big and like too wordy for a LinkedIn post. I hope it was more condensed, but Twitter thread isn't actually too bad. And on the free plan, you get three credits. So you can like do it with three different YouTube videos and or you can just, you know, upgrade to a paid plan if you think those types of content is getting engagement just because air generated content sometimes not get the engagement you want just because people can actually smell its AI and it throws them off. But anyway, super useful, super handy to have it if you just want to do some quick content, you know, play the volume game per se. So these were the tools I wanted to show you today. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite, which one you're probably going to use or the ones you're not going to use. If you like the content today, please give a thumbs up. I'll see you next time.